Something pretty incredible happened last night, and it happened in the association. Something that's pretty rare these days, especially since the confetti finished falling in Vegas. And at the end of the year's Invitational, we haven't seen anything like this. In other words, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since this happened. And it's the craziest thing. The Lakers won. Right? Incredible. The Lakers won a game. Exactly. And that's not overkill. They should be acting like that. They did it. They did it. They won. And not only did they win... Not only did they win, get this, they won for a second time in a row. Win! Win! Yeah, that, that's win. not the James in Portland. That's my mind blown. I know that they sound similar. You know how you know the difference? I didn't chase it with a come on! Or precede it with a come on! I mean, they've won two in a row. The first win against the Clippers was shocking enough. Shocking considering the Lakers recently broke that 11-game losing streak against alleged, supposed, Lil Bro. Laker wins over the Clippers are rare enough, but even rarer to turn around and win the next game as well. Yes, the Lake Show has actually won two games in a row. And while the Raptors are not exactly a super team, the Lake Show will take back-to-back -back wins however they can get them. Darvin Ham will take back-to-back -back games however he can get them. Because remember, the Vultures were already circling like six days ago. I was in here talking about reports of the, quote, growing disconnect, end of quote, between Darvin and the locker room. In other words... Less than a week ago, fair or not, the narrative was that the Lakers were already getting ready to Chris Carter the guy. you got to have a fall Fair guy or not. <laughs> that was the narrative. That was the speculation. And then I don't need speculation. I can just go right to X, look at my mentions, and see Laker fan. Laker fan was looking to run this guy out of town on a rail already. Run his ass down. Bob in L.A. probably especially. A week ago, there was no shortage of Laker fans and maybe even Laker players in that own locker room laying the foundation to push this dude in front of the next oncoming train or the next passing double-decker bus. I'm not saying it's fair or not. I'm saying the narrative was there. Fair to say, then, that back-to-back -back wins came at a pretty good time for Darvin Ham. Also fair to say that Darvin and the Lake Show got some help last night. All right, so now we get into it. They did. They got some help last night. Some help from the only show more insufferable than the Lake Show itself. You know the show I'm talking about. The show that nobody ever wants to see. The show that nobody has ever paid to see. But the show and the cast that still make it all about themselves nonetheless. Of course, I'm talking about the ref show. And unfortunately for everybody in the world, on and off the floor I'm talking about, the ref show travels. The ref show travels from sport to sport, league to league. And while it shows up every single weekend seemingly in the NFL, and probably will once again for Wild Card Weekend, it made a pit stop in the association last night. Somehow... During the fourth quarter of that home Laker win against the Raptors, the Lake Show attempted 23 free throws while the Rap Show attempted just two. 23 to two. And then the Lake Show squeaked out a one-point win with their last 10 points coming from the free throw line. And if that seems a little bit off, and a little sus, as the kids like to say, a little sus to you, a little sketchy, you're not the only one who thinks so. In fact, to Raptors head coach, Darko Ryakovic, it seemed a lot sus, a lot sketchy, a lot off, a lot, a lot suspect. So Darko let the ref show 
and the rest of the planet know exactly how messed up he thought the entire thing was. He unleashed one of the all-time ref show takedowns ever. I think I have finally found somebody more fed up with the ref show than me. Let me just lay out so Darko can do his Darko thing because it's incredible. What an absolute masterful performance. Never mind that half of it was kind of over the top. I mean, Scotty Barnes, dude. I, I had no idea that Scotty Barnes was Wemby, Bill Russell, Shaq, Mike, and LeBron all rolled into one. But okay, you got to love a coach who's got his guys' backs. Love that. Love that. I loved everything about that. I agreed with 85% of that, but I loved 110% of that. What an absolutely incredible performance. And you know what's amazing about that? We didn't beep anything. All that rage, all that fury, all that colorful language, and we didn't have to bleep anything. He just went to its complete crap and BS, which, by the way, it is. Not only is he not wrong, he's exactly right. It is complete crap and BS. Dude has every right to be that pissed, especially if he's going to take that anger and do something so awesome with it. That's how you channel that rage. That was amazing. Seriously, forget the ears invitational or the EI. Hang a banner for that. Put that right up there in the rafters with Joey Bosa and Fred Van Vliet for the all-time ref show takedowns. If we're going to hang banners for winning seven regular season games now, then my dude Darko should get two banners for his all-time ref show takedown. My man Darko should get a monument in front of the arena. It's a complete crap. It is a complete crap. Let me tell you something about the logo. Maybe we change the logo to Darko. And no offense, Jerry. But then again, what did Jerry, as brilliant as Jerry West is, when did he ever say anything that awesome as that? Outrageous. By the way, when has anybody ever said anything as awesome as that? Scotty Barnes. No offense, C-Town, but Joe Noah, I guess, is in the conversation. Dude, Scotty Barnes is going to be the face of this league. Scotty Barnes. All right, Darko, let's not get crazy. You know why that's crazy, Darko? You know why it's crazy to say that Scotty Barnes Scotty is going to be the face Barnes. of the league? You know why, Darko? Because you're already the face of the league, my man. And the best part about Darko being the face of the league is he's only 35 games into his head coaching career. He hasn't even coached half a season, and he's already this fed up. He hasn't even made it 40 games in, and he's already calling out the ref show for tilting games towards the Lakers and saying things like, quote, and this is beautiful, quote, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them the win. It's a complete crap. It is a complete crap. Now I'm really stuck. Who do I like better, Jameis or Darko? My two favorite guys in sports right now, who both are having amazing weeks. It is a complete crap. I love this so much. Of course, they ran these comments back to LaCap. And of course, LaCap's take was a whole lot less enjoyable. Well, that was fun. Well, uh, I felt like they fouled and we didn't. I felt like they fouled and we didn't. Good energy, it's a though. complete crap. I guess there's a reason why they call that guy a basketball genius. Except it's got nothing to do with that answer. Pretty sad and pretty alarming that the Lakers needed that much help last night. Considering they're the Lakers. Considering the 41 they got 
from SCD. Street Clothes Davis. Hey, can we take a moment and talk about SCD? This dude's playing his ass off. He really is. For all the heat this guy's taking. Hey, D, what's good, baby? Dude, his game, man. His availability. His reliability. His length. His domination. This dude is playing lights out. He's trying to play his way out of that nickname. Because this dude is, in fact, available. He's logging heavy minutes. He's balling out every single night. Give him his credit. I am. If we're all going to take runs at this guy for being street clothes and not being available, the the fact that he's out there playing the way he is, give him his credit. I will. This guy's playing his ass off. And yet, despite that fact, the Lakers need the ref show's help to just eke out a one-point win at home against the Raptors. No offense, Canada. Canada, at least you have a head coach, though, who is going to go to battle for you, stand up for you. Seriously. Props to Darko for calling that crap out, for calling it for what it is, crap and BS. My man, not only does he deserve a banner, he deserves an extension for that rant. Find me a better rant from an NBA coach in recent memory from somebody not named Michael Malone because, you know, Michael Malone's awesome. Hell, you know what he deserves? Not a banner. Darko, give him Spoh's new contract. Do that. Give him Spo's new contract. Don't take Spo's contract because he earned it, but give him Spo's contract. And by the way, mad props to Eric Spolstra. Dude just got the biggest contract in the history of the four major sports. Did you hear what I just said? He just got the biggest contract in the history of the four major sports. Spo just signed an eight-year $120 million extension. That is the most committed money in North American coaching history. 15 mil per for eight years. And he deserves every single penny. And it's incredible that he gets that extension during his 16th season of leading the Heat. I don't know. Either that or... The godfather himself, Pat Riley, walks in and says, Spo, Spo, let's wrap. And Spo's expectation, I'm, I'm sure, is like, finally, 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 I am going to be compensated, commensurate with what I've accomplished here. And Riley says, you know what, Spo, this deal here, this deal right in front of me, until 30 seconds ago, I was going to ask you to sign it. It was going to go to you. And I felt amazing about it. Except this deal... He pulls it back. It's going to Darko. Because as great as you've been over the last 20 years here, starting as a video guy, what Darko did in 20 seconds last night is even better. Anyway, back to Spo. All kidding aside, that's incredible longevity from an incredible coach. And Darko has a long, 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 long way to go to run down Spo. Again, he's only 35 games in. But that rant last night, might as well put him in dog years. He went from 35 games in to year 10 in the league as far as I'm concerned. Keep it up, my guy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to be the first to know when we do upload a new video.